kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part 16 of my video series on Uber Clone app using Android Studio. All right, guys. So uh, I took a lot of break from that Uber Clone app, and I am sorry for that. But now onwards, I will be working on Uber Clone app and also the GPS Family Tracker app. Alright guys so let's get started so in our previous video we set up the uh, autocomplete uh, using the google places api okay guys so in this video what we are going to do is we are going to request the permission for our location okay because that is necessary so for that i will be using the uh, permission manager library so let first of all go to your build.gradle and in here you need to write compile com dot github dot currentury colon permi permission manager zero point one point zero Alright, let's click on synchronize now. Let's see if that is we don't get any error. So here we are having that uh, error. So in order to resolve that, go to your build.gradle and inside that um, you need to add another Maven repository. So for that we can say url https back dot io all right now all right guys so now that we will click on the synchronize and now the error will be gone so now the next step is we need the uh, whenever the user signs up so we need the uh, user uh, location permission all right so for that the we will be in our main page activity and in here first of all let's say we have an object permission manager okay that is the automatic permission manager it will automatically uh, check the, the permissions in the android manifest and will ask for the user to enable it so we can say permission manager and now let's go down to our build uh, on create method we can say permission manager equals to new permission manager or oh, that is the way of initializing that and after that we can say permission manager dot check result check and request permission check and request and inside that we will just pass this current activity uh, reference okay so that's it and after that we need an on request permission result method and inside that we just need to write permission manager dot check result Alright, inside that we just need to pass the request code and then the permissions and the third argument will be the grant results. Alright, so after that we need to check if the user denied any permission so we need to use the array list of string type and inside we can name it as denied array new array list let's initialize it okay we don't need to initialize that so we can say permission manager dot get status dot get zero dot denied all right and here we can check if denied arrays is empty 
So we can say that user granted permission. All right. So that is it for now in this video. Okay. So now let's run our application. Let me open the side sync app. So now our application is running. Let me run the app. The application is now getting installed, and now application is running. Let me open the phone screen and there you can see. Okay, so first of all, let me remove my application of Uber. What I will install it, uninstall it. Okay. And now let's run our application again. And here now you can see we need to first of all sign in. So I will, I have an account. Okay, I will click sign in, and here you will see that it is asking me to access this location allow uber to access this device location okay so i will click on allow and now the user permission is allowed all right so now when i run the application again so there you can see the my current location is being shown here all right guys so Let's select the destination location and I select a good SBL and there you go. You can see now the this is the destination location. Alright. So guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe. Goodbye.